Hello students, this video is for class 7th. Today we will do the topic spreadsheet and introduction. So what is spreadsheet? You have done the software MS Word which is used to make documents. You have done the software MS PowerPoint which is used to make presentation. Now today we will do MS Excel that is known as spreadsheet software. This is the window of MS Excel. You have seen number of rows and number of columns here. Now, what is spreadsheet software? It is in tabular form, in the form of rows and columns, in the form of grid. You can see, this is a grid. These are rows. Number of rows are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These all are rows. And these are the columns, A, B, C, D. So, this is in the form of grid. This is spreadsheet software, or you can say this is Excel. Okay. Now, uh, in your book, you will see, features of ms excel are given now in this you can make your uh, record in tabular form you can find uh, you can do addition you can do uh, calculations you can find average you can find interest you can do number of calculations and number of features are there like autofill feature is there if you write here one then here if i drag it Autofill will be there. See, everywhere one is there. If you want to fill as a sequence, you can click here, fill series. Now, automatically series will come here. So, this is autofill option. And you can make it bold. You can make it italic. Number of features you can apply here. You can apply different colors on one cell. You can apply different features or uh, to the whole column. You can apply different colors. Okay. So, like this number of features are there of excel we will study about this now how to start it in on uh, here i have uh, internet explorer and folder option you will be having start here on your pc then click on the start ms excel will be there directly or uh, either you can have microsoft office option from there you can click on ms excel option and it will open this by default book one will be written here this window so, what is workbook? What is book 1 here? These two terms are there in your book, workbook and worksheet. What is that? In simple terms, if I explain you, workbook is like a copy. For example, this. This is a copy. Okay. So, workbook is a copy and worksheet are the pages, different pages of copy. And another difference you can say, like the window which has opened on the screen, when you open Microsoft Excel, the first window that is being opened here that is workbook and by default name is book one in that book you will see number of pages here if you can see three sheets are there sheet one sheet two and sheet three these are the three pages by default present in one book okay so sheet one sheet two sheet three from here you can add number of sheets sheet four sheet five so number of sheets you can add it is according to your need and these are worksheets and this whole is workbook. Now, different components of worksheets are there. Like this one, where I am writing. This is known as cell. Here sheet 5 is selected. We will go back to our sheet 1. So this one, highlighted one. This is known as active cell. These all are cells. Rectangular boxes that are uh, in front of you. These all are cells. But the highlighted one is known as active cell. The rectangular one is there and uh, the another name is cell pointer for this now what is range next term is range in your book what is range when i will select all this you can see one rectangular box is there i have selected 15 cells this one is known as range range can be any horizontal vertical or in the form of table which i have selected in the form of rectangular box that is known as range now here i have selected from what is the name of this cell if anyone asks you the name of the cell this one how we write the name of the cell this is column column b and row number is 4 so this cell is b4 okay so we are selecting from b4 to this one last one this is g15 so range is b4 to g15 okay now what is name box see i have selected this one what is the name of the cell 
I just told you how to see column name and then row number B2. And here B2 is written. This is name box where the name of the cell will be written. The highlighted active cell. Okay. So highlighted cell is this. Its name will come here in this name box. It is at the top. Okay. And formula bar. What is formula bar? This fx is written here. This is known as formula bar. In formula bar, it will show whatever I am writing in the active cell. For example, I am writing my name Radhika. You can see in formula bar. So in formula bar, it will show the formula or the text, whatever you are writing in active cell. Next is column headings. What are column headings? These are columns. So the names that are given to them are column headings. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Up to Z it will go. Then afterward, next one, after Z, what will be the name? A, 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 B, A, C, A, D. Like this, up to A, Z. Like this, it will continue. And how many column headings are there? 16,384. This, uh, this one you have to learn. How many columns are there? They can ask in one mark questions. 16,384. And how many row headings are there? These are row headings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 row numbers are there. And how many row numbers are there? 10 lakh 48,576. 1048576 10, number of rows are there. Now the next one, next component of your Excel window is status bar. This one. In ready mode is written here. So status bar will give you the status of the current window. Okay. So, this status is, the status of this one is ready mode. It is ready. Okay. So, we are in ready mode. So, status bar will show you the status of the current window. Now, next is, you are writing on the Excel window, how to move your cursor, moving around the spreadsheet. How to move? You can see different uh, arrow marks are there. These are the arrow marks. Up, down, left, right. You can use these. See, I am using the up one and it is going up. Then if I use down, it will come down. So move to the next row down. Move to the upper row up. Move towards the right column. So moving around the columns, this one, it will move you to the next column. Then I am coming back to the previous column like this. Okay. Now, next is my Active cell is J16. But if I am now press control home key. I am coming back to the first one. Again I will show you. I am here. Anywhere on the screen. On the Excel window. If you want to come to the first one. What you have to do? Control key plus home key. Control plus home. And it will bring, your, bring you to the first one. Okay. And similarly control plus end will bring you to the end of the your window now here we have just done these two columns and we are ending up to the 15th row so what you have done where you are ending the cursor will come there so this is control end for you control home will bring to the first one control end will bring you to the last one where you're working okay so these are the shortcuts uh, for moving around the stretch thank you